Question 6. Consider two resistors R1 and R2 connected in parallel. R1 is a fixed resistor and R2 is a variable resistor. Which of the following is true about the effective resistance R? For parallel circuit, the reciprocal of the effective resistance is the sum of reciprocals of individual resistance of each resistor. Hence, the effective resistance in this question can be expressed as R1 R2 over R1 plus R2. However, R2 has varying values, so for convenience purpose we would like to assume it is K times the value of R1, where K is a varying parameter. The effective resistance is then K over K plus 1 times R1. Consider the case when R2 is larger than R1, this means K is larger than 1, and hence the factor K over K plus 1 is smaller than 1. Thus, R is smaller than R1. However, if R2 is very large, K will also be very large and its difference with K plus 1 will become negligible. In such extreme case, R can be said to be equal to R1. As a result, we can conclude that R is smaller or equal to R1. In the case when R2 is smaller than R1, the value of K will range from 0 to some value slightly smaller than 1. This also means that the factor K over K plus 1 is larger or equal to 0 and is smaller than 1. Therefore, the effective resistance R is larger or equal to 0 and smaller than R1. Putting the two cases together, we then can conclude that R is larger or equal to 0 and is smaller or equal to R1. Thus, the answer is C.